Well, hi there, and welcome to our look at the January 2021 evening skies, or night skies. Mercury, still in the evening, low down, sets very soon after the sun sets, because of its proximity to the sun, is a difficult object to observe. And uh, please don't try looking for Mercury using telescopes or binoculars unless you know what you're doing, because it is dangerous and you can hit the sun by accident. So Mars is dimming in the evening sky, nice and bright, still orange. Sits in a bit of sky where there are no orange stars, so it does stand out in the southwestern stroke southern skies. Jupiter, nice and bright, along with Saturn, but low down in the southern southwestern sky. And again, setting as it has done for the last couple of months, quite soon after sunset. In terms of constellations, well, I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking at these because I've already got... Um, videos on these individual constellations. We're looking at Orion, Taurus and Lepus. Uh, but also, just to say that if you follow the three stars of Orion's belt downwards uh, to the left, they point at Sirius, the brightest star in Canis Major, which is also, incidentally, the brightest true star in the nighttime sky visible from Earth. What we are going to do, though, is look at Orion slightly differently. We're going to look at where its stars lie in real space, as opposed to how we see it. We'll start with the closest star, Bellatrix, at 252 light years away. And then that's followed by Betelgeuse at 498 light years, and Saif at 647. Closely followed by Mintaka at 692, and Alnitak at 736. The bright star of Rigel is 863 light years away. And then the Great Orion Nebula, well, that lies at 1,344 light years distant. And finally, Alnilam is 1,976 light years away from us. So as you can see, from any other part of space, Orion looks nothing like it does from the solar system. The Quadrantid Meteor Storm takes place between 27th December and 10th of January. Not one of the best, because you only get about 25 meteors per hour under clear dark skies. However, because they come from an asteroid, asteroid 2003 EH, uh, they don't tend to produce tails behind the meteors, but they do have a high propensity of creating fireballs. So do have a look for them if you get a chance under a clear dark sky, which of course is notoriously poor. To, to find in, in January due to weather. They are not particularly visible from the southern hemisphere because they're a highly northern uh, declination. Well, that's all for this month. I hope you enjoyed it. Dark skies, take care, and speak to you soon with February's Nighttime Sky Guide. Bye for now.